Hello everyone, I am Rishikesh Kulkarni. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about the aspects of design. Aspects are nothing but the considerations or the view for designing of any product. By keeping that view at the center, the product is designed. The product can be designed by following aspects such as functional aspect, operational aspect, aesthetic aspect, ergonomic aspect and economic aspect if the component is designed to perform its assigned function only then the component is said to be designed according to functional aspect next is the operational aspect in which the component is designed according to the ease of operation those are to be performed on that particular component the aesthetic aspect in which the component is designed by keeping in view that the component should look attractive ergonomic aspect by which a component is designed by keeping in view that it is interacted with human beings and lastly the economic aspect economic aspect in which the component is designed according to the economy of the industry so this is about the aspects of design the example of functional aspect that the component is designed to perform only function just like engines of train gears etc those are nothing to related with any look those should have primarily do their function next aesthetic aspect the components which are designed according to aesthetic aspects are aeroplanes cars mobiles etc those who attracts by their look so this is about the aspects of design next in this tutorial i am going to discuss about the aesthetic aspect and ergonomic aspect so aesthetic aspect in which the design of product is done according to the shape color and surface finish to make that product attractive as i have told the examples are aeroplane cars and cell phones or mobile phones now while designing any product by keeping view about its aesthetics then some considerations are done with respect to the shape of the product the color of the product and the surface finish of the product the shape of the product either should be a step form that means it should have step which are in vertical ascent just like a multi story building or it may be of taper form that means its cross sectional area changes with respect to length or the shape form should be of shear shear form means it should look square outlook type or it may be of streamline form streamline form means it should look fluent just like car aeroplanes etc or it may be of sculpture form sculpture form just like ellipsoid paraboloids hyperboloids most of the auditorium you see it is of sculpture form so this is about the considerations in shape for aesthetic design the next considerations is done for color the color should be attractive and impressive the color should be used according to some conventions which are used in industry just like red color is used for representing any danger hazard or hot environment orange color is used for representing the possible danger yellow color is used for representing caution green color is used for representing the safety blue color is used for representing again caution or cold and lastly gray color is used for representing the dull all these color codes are known as de morgan's color codes which are used for for choosing the proper color of component next too much bright color should be avoided as it reduces the attractivity of product therefore too much bright color is avoided next is the color should be compatible with conventional ideas of operator that means then he may conclude that either the environment is dangerous or hazardous or it may be hot next consideration is done for surface finish see if you want to design the product by aesthetic aspect or keeping the view of aesthetic then the surface finish of the product should be very high in order to look the product attractive therefore for making that surface finish high some processes just like spray painting anodizing electroplating are used so this is about the aesthetic aspects 